Hi guys, coming to you from my kitchen today. Now, I just want to talk really quickly, <laughs> as if I can talk quickly, um, about plate size. One of the tricks I use, I've popped it on my Insta and Facebook this morning, but is the size of your utensils. So this is a normal sized plate and spoon. Um, you know, as parents, we fill it up for our kids, eat up kids. What I use is a little bread and butter plate. So cute. Um, I don't know if you can see, but like it's about the size of my hand. So if you spread your hand out, that's the size of my plate, basically. And then these cute little fork and teaspoon. Because if there's less food on there, then mentally you're not eating as much either. Because if you see a plate full, usually most of us try and eat it all. It just goes back to our childhoods, eat everything on your plate. Um... I've tried not to have that with my kids, um, but you do have to eat your veggies. Um, whereas if you're using the smaller plate and cutlery, A, you're putting less on your plate to start with. Second of all, it looks like you've got more than you actually do. And thirdly, by using the little cutlery, you're actually physically putting less in your mouth. And so chew the 20 times, get all the digestive juices and enzymes working. Um, some say to wait 30 seconds. I eat too fast for that. So. But I do try and wait about 10 seconds so that I can kind of go, okay, body, do you actually need any more or do I just want to taste it again? Uh, so that's just one of my tricks. There's so many little tricks out there. So get yourself, and apparently this is a psych thing I read, that having the pattern on the outside actually makes you feel like you're more fine dining and gives you a better sense of um, wellness. So that's my tip for the day. Little bread and butter plate and little cute crockery cutlery. Um, I got that from Kmart. These were a pack of four for two bucks. And it's just a teaspoon. Everyone's got those. Mwah!